What's up, fellas? So I had a dude that wanted to know, hey, man, if I maintain a masculine frame, can I talk more? Because he's a naturally talkative person. All right, guys. So I want to clear this up because I think a lot of you guys got a misunderstanding of why I don't want you to talk a lot on a date. All right. And he said, you know, I don't think I'll talk my way out the booty. All right. That's only one aspect. All right. And that's not even the biggest aspect, guys. The biggest aspect to talking on a date, guys, is you kill the mystery. All right? You kill the mystery. You want a woman. Not only do you want her mysterious about your interest level, but you also want to be mysterious as in you don't want her to know too much about you. All right? Women like little puzzles that they got to solve and shit like this. When you do all this fucking talking and you go tell a woman, yeah, I was born here and yeah, I moved here and yeah, my mama's here and yeah, I did this. And you tell a woman your whole fucking life story is nothing for her to figure out. All right? So I know a lot of you guys are fucking love to talk and shit like this right here, the case may be, and you want to be yourself. And like I say, guys, be yourself. Listen, let me tell you something, guys. You can compliment women. It's, you can get. I done got pussy in the past before I became real good at game at telling women how beautiful they are. I done talked on the phone with women every fucking night and fucked them. All right? I done told a woman that I liked her on the first date. All right, I done did all this shit and fuck women. All right, all I say with any of this shit is that you run the risk of losing a woman's interest. All right, you run the risk. You can drive a car with your foot or your feet, and you still might can get to your location. Just understand, you run the risk of hitting somebody. All right, you cannot wear your seatbelt. All right, and get in a car accident and survive. It has happened. People have been in car accident and have survived. But you run a higher risk of getting ejected out of the car. All right, guys? So all this shit runs down to running high risk. It's not, oh, if you compliment a woman, she definitely going to lose interest. Man, I done fucked plenty of bitches back in my day and complimented them. All right. Now, I know with social media and shit like this, women got bigger egos and shit like this here. But I'm quite sure it's a bunch of guys out there who don't even, you know, watch my channel and shit. They give plenty of women compliments and they still fuck them. But it's probably some that they women lose interest and they don't know why. All right. So you just run the risk of a woman being too comfortable, comfortable as in where you stand. All right. Women are attracted to guys that they kind of don't understand. Do he like me? They want to, what women want to do, guys, is they want to be with their friends tomorrow. Girl, see this text? What do you think it mean? I don't know. Think he like me? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he wrote this in capital letters. You want women puzzled like this. This is what women are attracted to, all right? And another thing, guys, you guys can judge a woman's interest of how she's communicating with you, all right? When a woman has high interest, you ask her, and, 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 and I told you guys this, this is how y'all guys got to, y'all guys be on this day and y'all like, what to talk, what to talk? Man, when a woman got a, a genuine interest in you, I'm talking about, and it ain't got to be a 9 or a 10, and she could just see you as a 7. You ask her a question, the bitch won't shut up for 30 minutes. She got, God damn, just go on and on and on, and she's smiling, and she's just telling you her whole life story. Y'all going out with these girls, and they ask one-word responses and shit like this. All right, where you like to go vacation at? Jamaica. All right, when a girl got high interest in you, Jamaica. I love Jamaica, and then I'm going to Europe, and then me and my friends. Oh, let me tell you what happened on our last vacation. My girl lost her glasses, right? And so we had to care. They just don't shut the fuck up. They just talk, 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 talk. All right? So talking, guys, is a, a interest indicator. Y'all guys need to be weary of that. And when you talking like this, not only, I'm not worried about so much of you guys, which, which you can, you can say something to talk your way out the booty, all right, just making stupid conversation. But it also just kills the mystery. Another thing, guys, it shows not confident, all right, because what happened with a guy who's talking a lot right there, it could perceive as you're trying to oversell yourself because what you talking about? Right? What you talking about? You talking about you. You trying to talk about your interests. Yeah, bitch, you going to like me. Let me tell you why. I'm going to sit up here and, and do a 10-minute rumble and tell you why you should like me on top of that. All right? So it also can come across as, guys, you're trying too hard. Like, when you chill and you relax, I'm going to sit back here and chill. I'm cool. All right? I ain't got to try too hard. I'm just, I'm just relaxed. 
when you're on a date and you just blah, 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 you should like me, blah, 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 just running your fucking mouth, you just let the woman know, I really need you to like me. Let me sit up here and sell you myself. Let me show you how amazing my personality is, and let me show you how amazing my life is. So let me just do a fucking 15 minute ramble talking about absolutely fucking nothing, all right? You'll get a much better response. When a woman don't know you stand. And let me tell you something about also, guys. Yes, you can fuck women with, you know, displaying high interest and validating them and all this stuff. But you don't get a bitch soul. See, when a, when a bitch don't know where you stand, when you a mystery to a bitch, that's how you get a soul. Because now she got to chase your validation. See, when a woman ain't got to chase your validation, you can't get a soul. All right? Guys... If you are trying to build an attachment with women, they need to be wondering about you, all right? That's the thing with that. And when you talking like that, not only does it show that you're trying, you're trying too hard, you're trying to sell yourself, you kill the mystery because you're talking about you so she know your whole fucking life story, elementary school, preschool, when you was a toddler, what was your first bottle, all this bullshit. When a woman, it's much better when a woman is a don't know much about you all right when she got to go home and wonder damn he hardly said any fucking thing did he like me it's much better that way guys even if she not calling you she thinking all right guys so that's the main thing why i say keep your fucking mouth you still got to talk right you got to talk because the girl ain't gonna sit here and have a conversation with herself but guys keep your talking to a premium all right can you fuck a woman talking yes but you won't get the bitch soul, all right? You want the bitch, do, you, do y'all guys want to get your dick suck and have a bitch goggle with your fucking comb, with your fucking nut, all right? Do y'all want that, do y'all want threesomes or y'all just content with having sex and then, okay, this is what happened, I'm doing all this talking, yeah, I fucked the bitch, but half the fucking time, I don't know where I stand with her. All right, so instead of her wondering where you stand, where she stand with you, half the time, you wondering where you stand with her. And she constantly fucking shit testing all the fucking time because your interest level is so fucking uh, obvious that she shit testing you all the time to see how fucking booty whip you getting, all right? When it would have been much better if she was chasing your validation, which is going to keep those shit tests at a premium because why am I going to shit test a guy that act like he don't really give a damn? Hey, right, do y'all guys get that? The shit test come, especially when y'all start dealing with these chicks, is when they know where they stand with you and they got to see if you're getting weak, motherfucker. All right? She got to make sure you ain't getting booty whipped. All right? So when you acting like a dude that don't care too much, it ain't nothing to shit test. Bitch, I barely like you. All right? What you testing for? All right? Shit. All right, guys. So always remember that, guys. Quiet is always better. That don't mean you got to be a fucking mute on these goddamn dates, guys. I always have to clarify this fucking shit because guys go to two extremes, all right? They either want to be a fucking blabbermouth or they want to sit on a fucking date like a fucking mute, all right? You don't have to be a fucking mute in the circus, all right? You can fucking have conversation, but just keep it to a premium. The less she know about you, the more she got to want about you. The less you say, the more she got to want about, did you even like her? All right, guys. And getting to the next, my boy had asked me, hey, man, how did you accept being red pill? All right, because all the guys who pretty much watching my channel are pretty much red pill. So the, the thing with me, guys, was when I had a biological understanding of female nature. All right, when I got to understanding that it's not their fault that they are the way they are. Guys, if you, if you are upset at women because of female nature or whatever the things they do because they want a man who can provide and because, you know, they flaky and they always do what's in best interest. Please understand that women do what they primarily do because they're always seeking the highest value male that they possibly can. Why? It all comes down to reproduction, all right? It has nothing to do with them per se. If you think women are looking for the highest value male so they can take uh, first class trips and buy Gucci purchase purses, that is not the reason. It always comes down to, I want to reproduce this motherfucker, all right? So if you got a date with a woman and she has a dude that proceeds as higher value than you, well, she is want to reproduce this motherfucker, not you. 
I even if she, you know, is even if she's not in that stage where she wants a child, they are biologically hardwired to want to reproduce the highest value male that they possibly can get. If you mad at women for that, then you might as well be mad every time you hear a fucking dog bark. All right, guys. So, guys, if if you have a true understanding of female nature, you would know. That they're just hardwired and the shit that they do is to seek out the highest value male that they possibly can to reproduce that motherfucker. That way my kids can come out and be a high value motherfucker like that motherfucker. Alright guys, so that's the situation with that. In the money situation, I got to you know have a dude that can take care of these fucking kids. And if you lose your job, then they, you know, they own to the next. But it has nothing to do with them. I'm talking about even if the woman don't have no kids, it's just biologically wired in them to seek out a man that can provide. So even if I don't got no kids, even if the woman ain't got no kids, it's still, she probably don't even know why. Well, I don't even know why I want to leave this motherfucker, but I do. All right, guys. So that's the thing with that, guys. If you have an understanding of female nature that they are hardwired from centuries and it's not none of their fault, all right, it, it, it's only because nature has made them seek out the highest value male. Once you get a, a good uh, grasp of that, guys, I'm going to put to y'all guys like this. If any of you guys know anything about these celebrities and shit who get married, these men who get married and shit like that, a lot of times, guys, they wives know they cheat. Only thing the wives want most of those guys to do is, I don't want to know about it, and I don't want the paparazzi to have pictures and making me look stupid. Like, I know you're going to do what you do because I know you're a rich, famous dude, and I know women are throwing themselves at you. And so I know you as a man, it's going to be damn near impossible for you to turn down ass and when women get that. But... I just don't want to see it or hear about it. The only time those dudes really get in trouble is when the wife hears about it. Like, if you're going to do your shit, at least do your shit discreet. All right? That's the thing with that, guys, because the wives know if you're a rich man and women are throwing ass at you, a rich, famous man and women are throwing ass at you, they kind of figure, I know you as a man, you are probably not going to turn down a beautiful woman. They get that. They just don't want to know about it. Now, whether a lot of the women admit that in public or not, Hey, believe what you want to believe, but a lot of them know it. it what, what they call the show, Basketball Wise? If a lot of you guys don't know when that show first started, it was mainly about all of them had cheating husbands and shit. Now, it done morphed into something else, and they don't really even talk about that shit no more. But when the show first started, it was mainly about a bunch of wives telling you the life of dealing with a basketball player and him having groupies and dealing with all the drama and shit with other women. Because they kind of understood As a man you're going to fuck other bitches If you can All right? Any of you guys If you're in a relationship right now And you got a nice girl and she's an 8 But if a 10 was throwing pussy your way You'll be fucking the shit out of that bitch Alright And that's the thing with women You'll do what's best You'll fuck the shit You'll probably stay with your wife But if you had a 10 throwing pussy at your way You probably wouldn't pursue it but if the bitch was throwing pussy your way, your ass damn sure wouldn't be running the other way. All right? Because that's male nature. We want to fuck anything that we can find attractive that we can. All right? We ain't turning down shit but our collar. All right? So as a man, you probably wouldn't pursue it, but you damn sure wouldn't turn it down. All right? And that's the thing with women, guys. They always going to do that. Get over that shit. All I can tell you guys is to make yourself the highest value male that you possibly can. That's all I can fucking tell you guys. All right? But getting back to the first point, guys, talking on a date is not about saying, it is, it's about not saying something stupid. The more you talk, you run the risk to say, it's about that. But the biggest thing, guys, is you want to remain a mystery to women. That's attractive. It hides your interest level. All right, when you're doing all that blabber talking and shit like that right now, you kill the mystery. All right, guys, that, and you never going to get a woman's soul like that. You only get a woman's soul when she's chasing your validation. All right. So if you're just looking for some ass, knock yourself out. If you're just looking for some ass, go and compliment a woman. You can come, y'all guys can compliment women, all right? But you ain't gonna get a soul with it, all right? You might can fuck them, all right? It's plenty of men who come me, but you ain't gonna get a soul, all right? She ain't gonna be obsessed with you. That's the thing with that, guys. We buy souls over here, all right? That's the thing about that, guys. We about getting women obsessed with us, not just a piece of ass. Anybody get a piece of ass. 
Alright guys, like the video, comment down below what you guys want to see next, holla back.